Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe, well, I'm the one to see. Friday rolls along, you wanna hear my song? My show is so hot, honey. The fish, the meat. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna try this anyway. My name is the super sexy, super fabulous, and super desirable Soraya Sorbada. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my show. Now. Today is a Saturday and it's an impromptu Saturday. I decided just to get up and just do a show because uh, I haven't done a show in a long time and it was really, you know, time now to get the ball rolling, get the rolling pin rolling again and get back into episodes. You know, I, I take my little breaks and then I come back and whatever the case may be, but Ola's, my name is the super sexy, super fabulous and super desirable Sarai Sarbada. I'm the queen of healthy Latin cooking and I'm always touching my hair darling. Welcome to my show. Now, um, we're doing a Puerto Rican recipe. All my recipes are pretty much at this point in my career, very Puerto Rican, because um, I love my Puerto Rican cuisine. And well, you know, my whole mission with my cooking is healthy Puerto Rican cooking, right? Healthy Latin cooking. And a lot of the recipes that I make are pretty traditional for a lot of different cultures. What I'm going to make today, Jamaicans make it, uh, West Indians make it, uh, I'm sure some South Americans make it, and it's called bacalauitos. And bacalauitos are codfish fritters, and I love bacalauitos. We call them that, bacalauitos, in Spanish. Now, they're made out of codfish, bacalao, Italians cook with bacalao, a lot of people cook with codfish, salted codfish, and they're delicious. Now, they're usually made with white flour and usually uh, fried. Now mine are going to be gluten free and they're not going to be fried, okay? So that's going to be the recipe for today. And just a couple of things, you know, um, this week was Junito Perez's birthday, which was March 23rd. So uh, he had a pretty low key birthday. He was, you know, getting, taking care of a lot of things. One of them is painting the kitchen for me, which he, which we, him and I, uh, developed a, a theme of colors which is pink and silver and we really like it and we really you'll see more through this episode what we did with the kitchen and so it was his birthday and the anniversary of the New York Times review that I was in that he manifested for me he created that opportunity for me and um, also the Food Network uh, airing repeated on April 17th and 18th the same dates as he said in his video that he posted this week they were the same dates of the anniversary of the New York Times Review, so that was so cute, but I was so excited, and I'm excited too. And I'm always touching my hair, I just want to make sure I look pretty for all of you. So, you know, so that was this week in review. <laughs> and the political segments were up, I hope you enjoyed them with my, my honey bunny, uh, Daniel Drum. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, I'm always fixing and checking. Um, so, um, yeah, that was what we did previous, and now we're back into the cooking show realm, and trying to get the kitchen really cuter and brighter and all of that for the cooking shows. So um, we're going to go now through the ingredients and you know, uh, you know, I've been getting a few requests for videos to be posted, right? And I love that. You guys are like, Soraya, where are you? Where, where have you been? And, I'm a bit tired, I'm a bit tired. and you know, of course, the, the male fans that I have, and I have quite a bit of them, they're like, Soraya, would you come over and, and cook at my place? You know, can you make a special meal for me? And I'm going to say it to you like this. Siempre me preguntas, Soraya, cuando venga a mi casa, y yo siempre lo respondes. Quizás, quizás, quizás. Y así pasan los días, y los papis siguiendo de preguntando, Soraya, cuando me Prende el fuego a la estufa. Quizás, quizás, quizás. Estás perdiendo el tiempo pensando. Bueno, no perdiendo el tiempo. Pensando. Preguntan a Soraya. ¿Cuándo vas a cocinar en mi cocina? Y siempre yo lo responde. Que casi y donde no sabes. Cuando llego a tu casa para cocinarte, quizás, 
quizás, quizás. <laughs> oh, honey, I don't know what's going on. I guess it's the visibility, you know, a couple of my, my guy friends, I just know them, you know, they YouTube me and message me and say, oh, Soraya, you're so cute. I love the way you cook. Could you come over to my house and cook for me? And I'm like, I don't know, I have to think about it. Uh, y así pasan los días pensando a quién voy a llegar a cocinar porque mi estufa ay, está tan caliente. Quizás, quizás, quizás. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the ingredients. We'll be right back. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad I finally got dressed to do a cooking show. Oh my god, we'll be right back. Hi, this is Soraya. We're going to the ingredients for my bacalaoitos. Now, I'm a big Bisquick fan. Um, Bisquick gluten-free. Now, you guys know that I'm making all my recipes are gluten-free, and this is one of my favorite uh, flours for gluten-free. Uh, we're using a cup of this flour, okay? And we have measuring cups for this. We're using a quarter teaspoon of oregano. Um, I like to give my bacalaoitos sort of a meaty flavor. We're using uh, one third teaspoon of goya adobo. We're using uh, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, which I adore. Uh, we're using a half teaspoon of baking powder. All right. We're using cooking spray because we're not frying the baklawitos, okay? So now I'm going to ask the cameraman to give a good close-up of Soraya because we do not fry it. Soraya, so that's for this cooking show. So we're doing a cooking spray on a nonstick skillet. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Now turmeric has a, is an antioxidant and it, it's great. It's a, it's a really good spice that actually gives coloring. Yes. It's almost as pretty as psoriasis with a dust color. <laughs> but we're definitely going to use that. We're going to use um, just a little bit of that. We're going to use and utilize a very Latin herb, which is cilantro. Fresh cilantro that's chopped. So. We have two teaspoons of chopped cilantro and two whole garlic cloves that I'll crush and add to the batter. We're using one teaspoon of black pepper, okay? Uh, with the, um, the garlic, we're gonna use a garlic presser. Uh, we're going to use a whisk. Uh, we have a bowl here that we're gonna put all the ingredients and we have measuring spoons here. Now, we're going to use, um, we're gonna, yeah, um, I'm going to come over here. This is where I have my bacalao. I like this brand Tropical. It's very inexpensive. It's dried. It's salted. What we're going to do is going to rinse the bacalao. Once we have the bacalao cooked, we're only using six ounces of the bacalao. And we're going to use one cup of the broth from the bacalao. Now, um, so let's just, I'll show you how it's going to be done. So I'll turn on my little light here. My task light, because I'm tasking away. So this is the codfish, and we're going to rinse the salt off the codfish. This will be about six ounces of bacalao once it's cooked. And then I have my cuisinart, which has been so cool, right? We got some water here. We're just going to add the bacalao into the water. Turn on the fabulous stove. We're going to get that fire burning, honey. Get the water boiling. Now we have the bacalao in my lovely little cuisinart pan. Yes, and now you see the other piece of fish that's in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, so yes, we're going to get this boiling now. We're going to have the bacalao boil for 20 minutes. Um, and then once we get that, the first 20 minutes done, we go back, we rinse the bacalao, we add fresh water, and let it boil another 20 minutes. And when that's done, we'll be back, and I'll show you the next couple of steps. Okay. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to show you guys since I've been... Painting the kitchen with Junita Perez. Actually, Junita Perez has been doing all the work for painting. I just, I just relax um, and watch what's going on. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my, my, my pan rack, my chef rack, because I am a legit chef, honey. Whenever a company sends you free pots and pans, honey, you got it going on. Okay, cues and all, I love them forever. This is my new chef rack pan. Isn't that cool? I thought about putting it above the window. Um, you know, you can see the world and it's snowing today. This is going to be the skillet we're going to use to make the bacalaoitos, okay? So I'm going to put that there, and then I am going to get the broth and the bacalao, and I'm going to show you how to make the batter. So we'll be right back for Soraya Sobedas gluten-free, low-fat bacalaoitos. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now, and, and I wanted the camera guy, the cameraman, Lewis, to see me reaching for this, this pot. Because first of all, Cuisinart gave us a bunch of free things for Sarasa Radosphere's cooking show, which is so wonderful. And then I got this new cooking rack, and I just put it up here. And I, I know you guys know this, because you've seen my videos. You see that the kitchen is painted pink, and I got some pink and silver handles, and I got, you, got, you guys got to see in another shot, like this nice pink. It looks nice. That's all I gotta say. It looks <laughs> looks nice and fresh, like Soraya Freca. <laughs> fresh and dainty and sweet, darling. So this is the saucepan that we're using. We're just gonna, you know, put some water. It's very, very simple. Okay. All right. And then you take your bacalao out of the bag, um, and you just rinse it. You know. And I'm gonna take the angle for me. I don't want you guys to see my back because I have an open back dress and I have undergarments. This is supposed to be one. I don't know how you're gonna wear this without a bra. <laughs> but you can see the bra from the back. I don't think you guys can see that because I look better from the front. <laughs> so what you do is you rinse the sauce off your bacalao. You put the bacalao in the saucepan. Okay. And I'm gonna put it over here. But basically what we have here is the bacalao and water. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this going. And then you're gonna get this to a boil, right? You're gonna cover it if you wish. Um, let it boil for 20 minutes, rinse the water, come back, put more water, fresh batch of water, and boil for another 20 minutes, okay? So now when this is done, in 40 minutes, you don't need to wait for that, we'll be back, so we're going to pause. Alright, so we have actually, instead of 6 ounces, we have 7 ounces of bacalao, which is okay. The bacalao has already been boiled down, okay? Uh, I'm going to actually tear it apart with my hands. My hands are clean. And we have the broth here, the bacalao broth, um, and we're going to get started. And this is like, I really do not know why anyone would use the box mix of, of Goya bacalao. I have no qualms with Goya. I love Goya when I grew up, growing up as a little person, as a young person, Goya was the brand, okay? So it was like a representation of the Latino culture growing and growing. Because, you know, as a little Puerto Rican youngster that I was, uh, and I'm a Puerto Rican mature woman that I am now. Um, you know, back then there were no representations of, you know, of, of the Puerto Rican culture. And when Goya came on the scene with all their products, it's like we started arriving in our own little way. So I give Goya a lot of props. But this recipe is so simple. So there's no reason why once in a while you could just make your own, you know, bacalauitos. So with, with my speech, uh, we're going to go into the preparation. So we're using a cup of the Bisquick flour. And I'm gonna come to this angle here. So you can see, just using a straight up cup of flour. Nice cup, we're gonna add it here. We're going to take our measuring cup and we're going to take a cup of the bacala broth, like I said, add it. I'm just gonna put that away to the side, put that over there. Okay, now I'm just, since we don't have all the ingredients yet, I'm just gonna get that started with a whisk, just gently bring it together. Okay, good. I'm gonna start adding my, my spices, my herbs. So, my darlings, I'm so glad you're back at the last of the cooking show. And what I said about the turmeric, we're just gonna add a little bit of turmeric. I have a quarter teaspoon here, and it just gives it a little bit of a golden color. And if you need to add more water or broth to the batter, you certainly can do that. It's kind of thick right now, and I think I'm going to need more water. Now with the baking powder, we're going to use a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. And then with the adorbo, we're going to use one third. I'm going to just take this off the top. So we can get to it easily. And we're going to add one third of the adorable. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to add, I just love doing it by hand on this level. We're going to just take the oregano, just a pinch. Just a pinch to give it color and give it spice. Give it a little meaty flavor, even though this is a fish dish. And then here, I'm not going to measure it with a measuring spoon, but just a couple of dashes of the cumin. Okay. And of course, oh my God, the black pepper. I don't know why, with the bacalaoitos, it's really important to give it the black pepper. So what we're going to do here, got to be careful with the black pepper, half, 
and another half is giving us a teaspoon, a teaspoon of black pepper, nice and spicy. Okay. So we mix that up. That's nice. We're going to use like two teaspoons of the um, cilantro. And we're going to take the garlic. This is so cool. You just garlic presser. And the garlic comes out there. Very cool. And we have the other garlic here. We add it. We press. Basically, I'm going to mix this up a little bit and then now we're going to add the bacalao. Actually, you know that I said that there were seven ounces here, right? I think I'm going to go light. I'm going to go with the six, so I'm not going to add all of it. But you just take it with your hands, just crush it up a little bit, get it to like some flakes, you know, and just add it in. And I think that's all I'm going to add here. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more of the broth that I still have remaining. And then with the whisk too, you can help the codfish get broken up a little bit with the whisk. And I think that's the consistency that I want. It can't be too thick nor too watery. If you get it watery, it's okay. You know, then add a little bit more flour. And then if it's too thick, just add more broth like, like I just did. But you want it to be like a pancake batter basically, but not too runny. Again, not too thick, right? Now, I love when I do these batters for the bacalaoito, if I can refrigerate this overnight and let the pepper, let the turmeric, let the codfish, let all the flavors really, like you're almost marinating your batter. So the next day when you go to reach for it and you cook, right, and you prepare, um, you have all these wonderful flavors that have sat for a little while, right? So it's gonna be a real robust, real tasty meal. So um, that's gonna be uh, a tip for you guys, the, the time that you make the baclavitos. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to prepare the baclavitos on the nonstick skillet. Okay, so now we have the batter here, and we have all the ingredients, and now uh, what you do is you just stir this up. Now you want to make sure this is not watery. So you want to make sure that it's like a pancake batter. You want to make sure it's not too thick. So if it ends up being too thick the first time around when you add all the ingredients, and just add a little bit more broth or water. And if it's too watery, just add a little bit more of a Bisquick mix, okay? So I feel we have an excellent consistency. We have the green of the cilantro, we have the pepper specks, uh, we have the codfish in there, we have a little bit of turmeric to give it color. So we're ready to go, all right? So we're gonna go to the stove now, and we're gonna fry up a few. Now, we're not frying, we're cooking them in a nonstick skillet with cooking spray. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so now we have um, cookie spray. Now, I just happened to pick up today Pam uh, spray, uh, organic. Uh, I've never seen the Pam spray organic version before. Uh, organic canola oil. So I figured that for the cooking show today, we'll go with it. You know how I like very healthy products, healthy ingredients. And if I have something that's organic, that's fantastic. So I have the Cuisinart skillet. I just put some cooking spray on there. We have a lovely batter here, which is so cool, right? We have the batter of the bacalauitos, all seasoned, ready to go. I'm gonna take the whisk out. Now, we're gonna make sure that this is nice and hot. Once it's really hot, we're gonna go ahead. Once it's really hot, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna... I have um, one third cup. And I, so what we do is we just add a bit down. Yeah, so now we have the skillet is hot, as you can see, and it's bubbling. It's hot and bubbling like Soraya hot and bubbles most of the time, okay? In the kitchen when she's cooking, when I'm cooking. We have another third cup, we're gonna... Yes, that's what I wanna hear, nice little sizzle. Okay, this mix is supposed to make about 10 bacalauitos, but it really depends on the size. As you can see, I used the one third cup. Um, you can use a quarter cup, you can make them smaller. And I like my bacalauitos like this like little pancakes, like fritters, okay? Now, it's on like medium to high heat, um, and that's fine. We're gonna give the bacalitos a little spray on top, okay? Because they're not frying them, so you wanna add some fat. You can be pretty generous on the cooking spray. The cooking spray is a lot better to cook with than, than frying them. So, what you're gonna do is maybe give it like three minutes on each side. If you wanna put the timer, you can. 
You're going to make them a golden brown. And we're going to just cook them up. I'm actually going to have a timer, so we'll talk a little bit. Uh, I'm glad to be back to do cooking show videos. I hope you guys like the pink and you guys like the rack and the little pink and silver knobs. Yeah, we have the pink and silver knobs on the cabinets, which I changed. That was Jimmy Press's idea. The pink pole and then it's gray up here. It's so cool. I love it. So, um, I don't know. I'm smelling this, so I'm going to just turn one. And you can see it's a little round. That's exactly what we want. Right, you see the cilantro? That's fresh cilantro. So cool. That's beautiful. Look at the little pancakes, right? Yeah. So easy. And you give it another spray. Now, because this is flour, now what I like doing is the first the first browning, that one side uncovered right now the timer i'm going to set it for three minutes now i'm going to get a lid over here because the one thing you want to make sure you don't have the stove on too high um, and not cooking the bacalaoitas because that's a flour and it needs to cook so we're going to have this covered for about two minutes then uncover it and then turn them over again they should be golden brown on both sides and most certainly the batter should be cooked okay so do that and then we'll be right back. Okay, so you can see that they're getting puffed up a little bit, just like pancakes do, right? And I just took the cover off naturally, right? So good, good, good. So we see that. We put the heat up a little bit more. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. I love this. See, and when you have those little bubbles like on them like that, and you know that they're they're cooked. And just make sure that they're nice and brown, cooked really good. I'm going to give it another minute covered. Okay. So now we're coming back. They look really good. I'm going to get a plate over here, my little palm tree plates. Have a nice lid holder over here, which I love using. Okay, so now we're going to serve the bacalauritos. They've been uh, in the skillet for about two to three minutes each side. They're nice and golden brown. We're going to put them here. Look how pretty they are. Oh my god, they're almost as pretty as me. <laughs> I'm going to sound so full of myself, but you know. So these are the bacalauritos. These are Soraya Sorbidas, gluten free, uh, low fat. They're not fried bacalauritos now. I, they're piping hot like me, but then you see now, they're nice, they're cooked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. And you can see, oh my god, you can see a little bit of the grease there. Oh my god, they're really good. Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah, so they're delicious. So that concludes the recipe of Soraya Sobedas Bacalauritos. Like I always say, I wish you guys were here so you can taste it. It has a nice peppery taste to it. I like my bacalauritos to taste like bacalao. So they have a nice bacalao flavor. The pepper is awesome. Pepper is awesome. And the cilantro really makes it. The garlic is there. The turmeric made, made it a little golden colored. They're just beautiful. Beautiful. I would say this batter would make about... Uh, six to seven of them. Now mine are a little big because you could tell, right? And you can still see, even though we didn't deep fry it, my fingers are a little greasy. And that's okay. So that means that, you know, it's not totally like fat free where it doesn't taste good at all. It's, I have to go take another little piece. You know, they're still really, really tasty, but not, you don't have to fry them to make them taste good. And they're gluten free. You can't beat that. So that concludes my episode of Soraya Sobedas, gluten-free, low-fat bacalauritos. Uh, the ingredients will be posted in the description line of the YouTube video. And, you know, please watch my show. It's um, once a month, the Manhattan Cable Access, Manhattan Neighborhood Network, the third Sunday of the month. And my cooking show also airs on Queens Public Access TV twice a month, the first uh, Monday of uh, the week, 
at uh, 11 a.m. and then on Saturday at 9.30 p.m. And always check my website. You can always see uh, the dates for my cooking shows and any up and coming events that I'm doing, any shows or anything like that. So thank you for coming to Soraya Subedas for this cooking show. Again, my recipe of gluten-free, low-fat bacalaoitos. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.